Okay, the Pan Am is one of those cool moves because it's got a whole variety of ways it can be thrown. It can be thrown as just a barely past vertical blunt. It can also be thrown as a totally inverted, looks like you're about to do an air screw and then you crunch up and pull the, the boat back under you and land in a back surf or a side surf. Very cool move that way. To do the Pan Am like a past vertical blunt, think about a couple things. Number one, imagine you're about to throw an air blunt, but instead of throwing a normal air blunt, go ahead and use the blunt stroke, the initiation stroke that you would normally throw to do the blunt. Push that stroke out and away from the boat instead of just rotating along your, the axis of your body. Another thing that helps get it past vertical is to throw your, your face down towards the front of the boat even harder. Don't stand back and up on the boat. Finally, allowing the boat to rotate is a matter of pulling up on your knee throughout the entire air blunt to pull it past vertical. You're actually trying to pull the boat upside down on top of you. To finish the move, to finish the Pan Am, the best way to sit it down is to crunch your knees up and sit the boat haul flat on the wave. Another way to do the Pan Am that's even more visually impressive is to throw it like an air screw and then crunch and land in a back or side surf. The technique for this is simply to get cross wave speed or almost straight down wave speed. Go like you're about to throw a big air screw, but right as you're about to go upside down, face goes on the front deck and you're just crunching up underneath and pulling that boat flat down on the wave. Often you're going to land in a side surf, sometimes in a back surf using this technique. There's a variety of good ways to learn this. One way in flat water is just practicing a back deck roll where you try to keep your head dry and you finish, instead of finishing on a, on a forward sweep roll, you finish on a back sweep roll. So get in the flat water, do like you're doing a lean clean, throw a really hard back, um, back deck roll, keeping your head dry as you can, finish on a back recovery stroke. Whether you're doing the pass vertical blunt or the air screw style Pan Am, the most common mistake people make, and you'll know if you make it or not, and that is if you land upside down and your stern initiates and you either flush or you just go flying back into the pile, go underwater and then roll up and come back in a front surf. That mistake is you're allowing your bow to drop while you're still laying on the back deck and not crunching up on your knees fast enough to get the boat under you and land in a back surf. So the, the, the point of the whole thing is, by the time you're inverted, you need to be getting your face to the front deck, pulling the knees up as hard as you can to get that boat back under you so you land haul on the water. So four things to remember when you're doing a Pan Am. Number one, make sure you do a hard edge transfer and that you get your face to the front deck. The face to the front deck will get the boat to go over your head. And then the next thing to remember, make sure that you push out and away from the boat Next, make sure you really pull up in your knees and end in a backstroke, a back recovery stroke. That puts the boat under you and ends you in a side surf or a back surf.